People are not always who they seem to be. Criminals hide behind a pleasant personality to win your trust and trick you out of your money. This video will remind you not to take people at face value and will show you how to spot scammers and help you to avoid becoming a victim. Scams come in many shapes and sizes, like people, but they all have one thing in common. Whatever they look like at first glance, they're all designed to convince you to hand over your cash. Criminals will try to get you to reveal your personal details or steal your information. Their aim is to get you to willingly part with your money. And the trick is knowing how to see through their scams. And this video will help you to do just that. Criminals often use grooming and befriending techniques. And they may contact you more than once using a variety of ways to appear genuine. There are four main types of scams. The person calling will be very good at sounding like someone else. They could even pretend to be from your bank and ask you politely, if it's not too much trouble of course, to please provide your login details. One moment please. They might even put you on hold and play the sound of a call centre in the background to appear authentic. They can even make your bank's number appear on your mobile so you believe it really is the bank calling. Or they could sound very serious and very important. They might even impersonate a police officer, leaving their name, rank, and asking you to call the station back. Then when you call back, someone pretending to be a receptionist answers and puts you straight back through. To the fake police officer. And they're very, very good at sounding oh so incredibly sincere. They only have your best interests at heart, do you? They don't. The caller may have some of your information to help them appear genuine. And they'll probably make the issue sound urgent and encourage you to act quickly before you've had time to think. So here are a few things to remember. Only a scammer would ask you to withdraw cash and hand it to a courier. A genuine organisation, including the police or your bank, will never ask you to transfer money into another bank account. Always keep your personal and account information safe, including your PIN and your password. If you're contacted by an organisation out of the blue, treat it with extreme caution. Contact the company directly using an email address or a phone number that you trust. Don't be pressured into making a decision over the phone. A trusted organisation wouldn't rush you. And if the caller is vague about giving out their company information, hang up. Don't take anything for granted. Remember, appearances can be very deceiving. Common types of postal scams include fake lotteries, prize draws, investment advice, inheritance windfalls, health cures, even letters from clairvoyance. You can avoid falling victim to these postal scams by taking some simple precautions. Never send money to a company to claim a prize or winnings. Never part with cash to secure inheritance from a distant relative. Watch out for offers which are too good to be true. Don't give out your personal information to companies you don't know. And if you receive a lot of posts, ask someone you trust to help you sort out the letters. If you think a letter's a scam, report it and shred it. Scammers use a variety of clever tactics to gain both your trust and access to your home. They can pose as legitimate business people, selling you goods that are faulty, unnecessary, overpriced, poor quality. Or even non-existent. They may tell you, I'm working in the area for a few days only, pal. Here are some photos of some great jobs I've done for your neighbours. They're delighted with the work. They will probably offer you 
A once in a lifetime deal that's too good to miss, Governor. Honestly, I'm almost losing money on this job, but me and the lads, we want to help out. So always be on the lookout for doorstep scammers. And be wary of rogue traders who point out work that doesn't need doing. To avoid being caught out, never allow anyone you don't know or trust into your home. Never be pressurised into trading on your doorstep. Ask someone you trust for advice about reputable traders. Always get two or three quotes. If you feel threatened, call 999. And always report suspicious activity to the police, calling 101. Criminals are very good at tricking internet and email users into giving away their personal details and their money. Emails may appear to be from your bank, an online dating site, or a company you already deal with. Emails will probably encourage you to act quickly. You may be directed to click on a link that takes you to a fake website where you'll be asked to enter your details, or open an attachment that could download malicious software. So always be on your guard. Be wary of emails that appear to be from a trusted source, like a bank. And be very careful about clicking on links in the email. Set up a junk mail filter to stop unwanted emails. Always go to an organization's official website rather than following links in emails. Install and keep your security software up to date. Make sure that online payments are secure. Look for the padlock symbol in the address bar. Never allow another person to use your login details. Watch out for online relationships with people you've never met. Never send these people money or hand over personal details. A common tactic criminals use is to ask for money for flight tickets, hospital bills, a work emergency, police bail or customs issues. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? Well, don't worry. The Friends Against Scams website is always up to date with the latest scams. Don't fall for identity theft. This is where your personal details are gathered from social media, from hacking or stealing mail, and through information you unknowingly provide. It allows criminals to convincingly pose as you and apply for services and even borrow money in your name. And don't be tricked into becoming a so-called money mule. This is when your bank account is used to launder funds. Victims, particularly young people, are given a small payment for handing over their bank details. And always say no to strangers offering to put money into your bank account. This could be illegal. Be on the lookout for fake job ads offering good money for not much work. These ads are often posted online or through social media and sometimes ask for an upfront fee for training. They may even overpay you and then demand a refund, leaving you out of pocket. Always think how much personal information you share through social media. Giving away your personal information can be like handing over your wallet to someone you don't know for safekeeping. Never respond to adverts asking you to provide your bank account details. And if you're shopping online, check out peer reviews to see if the seller is genuine. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Right, let's take five. Here are some tips to help you avoid being caught out or taken in. Don't assume everyone is genuine. Never disclose your personal details to an unknown source. Don't be rushed. Trust your instincts. Stay in control. And remember, banks can respond to suspicious activity faster if they have your up-to-date contact details. So check them after you've finished watching this video and let your bank know if they've changed. If you're worried you're about to be or have been scammed, here are some simple things to do. Talk about it. You should never feel embarrassed. Report it via the Action Fraud Helpline 
on 0300 123 2040. Contact your bank and you can ask for further help by calling the Citizens Advice Consumer Helpline on 03454 040 506. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to know or do more, you can find more information on our website. Simply search NatWest Security Centre. And if you want to become a scam champion, simply visit Friends Against Scams online. Also, please share what you've learned with friends and family to help them protect themselves against scams. And remember to keep watching out for things that aren't quite what they seem. <coughs>